Tooth abscess causes, symptoms, prevention, diagnosis, risk factor and treatment know in details from Dr. Anurin Ghosh Mandal. What is a tooth abscess? An abscess is a pocket of pus that accumulates when a bacterial infection breaks down tissue and this pus containing dead white blood cells and microbes with tissue debris and serum. The resulting buildup of pus is usually very painful. They are a natural defense mechanism, the aim being to block the infection from reaching other areas. The resulting buildup of pus forms a pocket of pus this is known as a tooth abscess. What is the common cause of tooth infection? Dental caries or tooth decay gingivitis and periodontitis. People with poor oral hygiene and health are more susceptible to any oral infection and dental abscesses due to an increased buildup of plaque and calculus. Impacted tooth, pericoruntis and caries loss of tooth structure tooth attrition, abrasion and erosion. Trauma and fracture compromised tooth restoration. Rarely it can cause for any dental surgery complication from RCT, implants and extractions. It can also causes for impaction of food and infection with foreign particles, etc. Types of tooth abscess. The most common type of a dental abscess is a periapical abscess, also known as a tooth-related abscess, and the second most common is a periodontal abscess and gum abscess. Periapical abscess. The periapical abscess is generally caused by an infection inside the tooth. Dental caries, tooth attrition, abrasion, erosion, trauma and fracture causes loss of tooth structure forms a passage for a bacteria to go inside the enamel and dentin to reach the pulp tooth's nerve and blood. If the pulp infection is not properly treated, infection can spread through the root canal from the pulp to the periapical tissue, which is located around the apex of the tooth's root, locally it causes infection to periapical tissue and later periapical abscess. Tooth abscess gum abscess and periodontal abscess the gum abscess and periodontal abscess is caused by an infection in the space between the tooth and gum the infection may occur after food gets trapped between the gum and tooth or for infection with any foreign particles perio endo lesson people with poor oral hygiene or gum disease have a higher risk of developing such an abscess because a large number of bacteria can build up under the gum and in the bone Please note, poor oral health or any oral infection can cause or aggravate so many other disease like, cardiac problems, diabetes, strokes, cancer, gastrointestinal problem, lungs disease etc. So maintain good oral health and for any oral infection get proper treatment from a dentist. Signs and symptoms of tooth abscess. Most abscesses are painful but this is not always. In some cases, abscesses may be painless or cause little pain, but still have a swelling present on the gum or jaw. An intense, throbbing pain in the affected tooth or gum that may come on suddenly or continuous pain. It can be severe. Pain can spread to the ear, jaw, face, and neck on the side of the affected tooth swelling and reddening of the gums or face tenderness of tooth the pain of tooth on pressure or chewing or biting tenderness and warmness on the touch of an affected side can be seen. In some cases, you may find it hard to fully open your mouth and may have difficulty swallowing disturbance on posture when lying down, which may disturb your sleep a foul, bitter taste in the mouth from draining pus, salty pus fluid in your mouth and pain relief if the abscess ruptures causes bad breath. Tender, swollen lymph nodes under your jaw or in your neck and fever may come. Diagnosis of tooth infections. Clinical examination it helps for initial and preliminary diagnosis for a dentist. Investigation X-ray, IOPAR, OPG, lateral oblique view, and occlusal radiograph taken according to a condition. X-ray helps to know the source and spared of the infection. Prevention. Brush twice daily with proper technique and proper toothpaste, toothbrush, maintain oral hygiene. Rinse water after every food, sometimes use chlorhexidine mouthwash and use dental floss, you can gently massage your gum with your finger, also be sure to schedule regular dentist visits for plaque and tartar removal and check up. Every six month visit dentist for scaling treatment, for prevention of gum problem, caries and other multiple diseases. If caries or any loss of tooth structure is seen, get the proper treatment don't neglect it. Fluoride toothpaste or tropical fluoride can be used on dentist advice. Eat healthy food, limiting sugary items and between meal snacks. Chewing habit of hard and fibrous food is a good habit, don't take always soft or liquid food. 
Avoid tobacco and betel nut. Risk factor, who are in risk to get this disease, poor oral hygiene maintenance and poor health condition. Habits of taking tobacco and betel nuts A family history of gum disease, malocclusion and traumatic occlusion, diabetes, blood sugar. More common in older aged people, people with weakened immune system HIV and AIDS or certain, malignancy. Chemotherapy and radiotherapy Malnutrition and vitamins deficiency. Treatment of tooth abscess, it is important to get anything with any symptoms visit any dental professional to get proper treatment and avoid any complications. What can you do to relieve your symptoms temporary? While waiting to visit a dentist, painkillers can help control your pain may help in relieving your symptoms. In general, as a painkiller proper dose of paracetamol can be the safest medicine or sometimes ibuprofen can give you temporary relief. With this proper antibiotic dose as needed. Don't take any medicine for a long time. Painkillers can help control your pain and antibiotic can help to control the infection, but some patients are unable to take it for medical reasons. Generally rinse with warm salted water daily 4 to 5 times in a day, use 1 third teaspoon of salt in a glass of water. Sometimes use chlorhexidine mouthwash or use betadine mouthwash with water. Don't apply heat from outside to the affected area. Avoid hot or cold food and drink as they will make the pain worse. Try to eat cool, soft foods. Try to avoid biting food to the affected side for a few days. Use a soft toothbrush and temporarily avoid flossing around the affected tooth. What the dentist will do. The treatment is relieving the symptoms and reducing the risk of further spread of the infection. The dentist will diagnose properly then he, she will prescribe the proper painkiller and antibiotics. Painkillers can help control your pain and inflammation, an antibiotic can help to control the infection. If there is an abscess, then abscess drainage is very important after making an incision. Depending on the location of the abscess and severity of the infection, there are two possible treatment approaches. Root Canal Treatment RCT. Know in details visit www.metahelp365.com Extraction, if a condition is very poor and the tooth cannot be restored an extraction is performed followed by curatage of socket and apical soft tissue. Treatment of gum abscess. In most cases, gum or a periodontal abscess occurs in people with a poor oral health condition, gingivitis and periodontitis. Draining the abscess can help to reduce the immediate problem. However, the periodontal disease needs to be treated with medicine, proper oral prophylaxis and periodontal therapy. If you like then share the information and subscribe our YouTube channel Medical Help 365 Days to see medical videos.